minutes before halftime, and we'll be showing you live action there momentarily. Now, the winner of that game will be taking on Arkansas. The triumph tonight by Connecticut. Some thought it might be controversial. We'll try to square it away for you. Let's show you what happened. Clemson leading by one. Only one second left. And here's our Dick Stockton with the game's final call. Here goes the long pass with one second to go. The shot. Yes! The shot's going to count. The shot by Tate George wins it. A stunned Eldon Campbell of Clemson as Tate George hit the shot to win it for Connecticut. Mike, let's talk about the rules. Officially, when is the game over? The game's not over. Don't watch the clock. Don't watch the light above the basket. The game is over when the horn sounds. All right, folks, what we're going to do now, we're going to delete the play-by-play -play call. Listen closely for the buzzer on the game's final play. Clearly there, it appeared the buzzer went off Absolutely. in midair on the shot. We have been flooded with phone calls tonight, especially from the Carolina area. And one more time, just to convince everyone that this was a clean victory by Connecticut. Again, listen up. So UConn, the one seed in the East, moves on to the regional final to take on the Duke UCLA winner. And Mike, you made an excellent point about the end of this game and the man who inbounded the ball for the Huskies. Well, freshman Scott Burrell, Jim, is a guy who was such a good baseball player, a pitcher, 95 mile an hour fastball, first round draft pick Seattle Mariners. He threw a strike on that play. That pass, big part of that play, then the shot by Tate George. All right, let's take a look now at the brackets, uh, Mike, after that victory by UConn tonight. Connecticut, again, will take on the Duke UCLA.